Dear sixth sem students, welcome back into my another video. Hope you are all doing well. Those who are having the open elective subject conservation of natural resources, so this video is for those students. Subject code is 21 CV 654. Here I will be discussing super important questions by which uh, you can pass the subject and easily score more than 80 marks by referring this much portion. Okay, so let us discuss uh, model wise important questions uh, one by one. So first question we have defined land as a resource and explain its significance for human development. What are different types of lands? Discuss various methods of land conservation. Explain the importance of conserving different landforms. First of all, let me tell you dear friends, these theoretical uh, subjects are very easy to pass in ETU examination. One thing is uh, try to remember the key points for all the uh, questions whatever I will mention in this particular video. Try to write down the key points uh, in your A4 sheet. No need to remember all the theory, theoretical portions. Only if you remember uh, key points, then whatever you have understood so far from these type of concepts, okay? So surely you can write down in your own words as far as examinations are concerned and try to fill more number of pages in your answer booklet, okay? When I was uh, studying uh, these uh, theoretical subjects during engineering journey, my strategy was uh, just remembering key points then what are i understood from those concepts i was writing in my own words uh, in the answer booklet so you should do the same no need to remember all the theory no need to buy heart all the concepts okay it is very hectic for the students to cover all the theoretical portions uh, from these type of subjects where uh, syllabus is vast so better to remember key points only okay so next question is define deforestation and discuss its environmental and economic impacts what is uh, soil health and why is it important for agriculture and ecosystems discuss the factors that affect soil health how does soil degradation affect agriculture and uh, food security discuss the principles of sustainable land use planning and its significance how can sustainable land use uh, practices mitigate the effects of soil degradation last question we have from model first what is need for soil conservation discuss methods to prevent soil erosion okay this is all about model first next is model second explain the significance of resource system planning in the management of indian uh, water resources and discuss the current states of global water resources right another question we have from model second analyze uh, the water use patterns in domestic industrial and agricultural sectors in india how can water use in agriculture be made more sustainable in india what measures can be taken for the equitable distribution of water resources in India? Identify the water uh, deficit and surplus basins in India, right? Next is uh, what are the advantages and challenges of inter-basin water transfers in India? Discuss uh, Himalayan and peninsular components involved in interlinking of rivers. This may, seven, this may be 7 marks question, okay? Or sometimes they are giving 10, 10 marks question. But most probably they will give 7 marks, 6 marks and 8 marks like that one, okay? Next is explain the potential of groundwater in India. Discuss the concept of conjunctive use and its importance in groundwater. What are the methods of recharging groundwater? Discuss the causes, impacts and solutions to groundwater contamination. This is uh, all about model second. Next is model third. Explain the composition of air and its significance for life on earth. What are the major sources of air pollution? Classify air pollutants based on their origin and explain difference between primary and secondary air pollutants with examples. <coughs> Next questions from model third what are natural ambient air quality standards naaqs discuss their importance in maintaining air quality describe the effects of uh, air pollution on human health analyze the economic impact of air pollution on various sectors next we have discuss the different types of equipment used to control air pollution explain the methods used for smoke control in urban areas what is ozone depletion discuss its causes and uh, impacts on environment and human health explain the photochemical reactions involved in ozone depletion discuss the role of photochemical reactions in the formation of smog and other atmospheric pollutants this is about model third now let us discuss model four define bi biodiversity discuss the imp uh, importance of biodiversity in maintaining ecosystem services explain the role of flora and fauna in ecosystem stability and biodiversity next we have what are the natural and anthropogenic disturbances that threaten biodiversity discuss the impacts of habitat loss on global global biodiversity explain the importance of natural parks wildlife sanctuaries and zoological gardens in conserving biodiversity what are 
gene banks and how do they contribute to biodiversity conservation discuss the role of social forestry in biodiversity conservation define an ecosystem and describe its biotic and abiotic components explain the significance of wetlands and uh, a stream in maintaining ecosystem biodiversity and also go through types of ecosystems okay as I earlier mentioned uh, just go through key points only next is model fifth they define global warming and discuss its key indicators explain the factors contributing to global warming and its effects on the environment and human life what are the main indicators of global climate change how does global climate change affect biodiversity and ecosystems discuss global efforts to conserve uh, biodiversity and mitigate climate change impacts what are the key regulations of the environmental impact assessment eia in india discuss the states of eia implementation in india Conduct a case study of a hydroelectric power project highlighting its environmental impacts and role of EIE. Okay, so this is all about questions of uh, conservation of natural resources. Go through these questions as I mentioned. Uh, note down the key points and remember them. Try to repeat the key points again and again so that you will remember them and you can write down uh, the concepts in your own words as far as examinations are concerned. I wish you all the best for your examinations dear. Make sure you will share this video to all your batchmates and friends so that they can take also advantage of the, these important questions. Thank you.